Hello and welcome to Coffee Table Physics. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jonathan. The reason you're probably here is because you wondered, like us, what makes water swirl down a plug hole. I'm about to let you into a shocking secret. It's not the Coriolis force, in almost all circumstances. Now, if you've read anything about this swirling, you are now likely to be very confused. If you haven't, good. There's a lot of false information out there, but don't worry, we're going to set the record straight. So, to understand why it can't be the Coriolis force, we must first understand what the Coriolis force is. So, imagine you're in the playground on a roundabout with your friend Alice. You throw the ball in a straight line, however the ball appears to curve and so Alice, who is stood further around the roundabout, is able to catch it. This is because a point on the roundabout further from the centre must spin faster than a point closer to the centre. This is due to its circular path having a larger circumference and so the point has further to travel during the time of each rotation. However, another friend, Bob, who is stood next to the roundabout will see the ball travel in a straight line and sees that Alice is rotated around into the trajectory of the ball. Now imagine that instead of a roundabout you're stood on a rotating sphere called the Earth and you throw a ball north. You would see the ball deflect and so your friend Alice, who is also stood on the rotating sphere northeast of you, would catch it. Therefore, if Newton's laws are still true, you would say there must be a force acting to push the ball and deflect it round to Alice. There is, in fact, a force, according to people on Earth, due to the Earth spinning. We call this force the Coriolis force. Like with the roundabout, if Bob was on the International Space Station, he would see the ball travel in a straight line, and instead the Earth turn such that Alice crosses the path of the ball. Now, Bob would say there's no such Coriolis force acting, as the ball is not deflected. Therefore, if Bob doesn't observe the force, there can't be a real Coriolis force, right? Right. The Coriolis force is a fake force, or what a physicist would call a fictitious force. This is one of three fictitious forces which appear to act on objects on Earth due to its rotation. The Coriolis force, the centrifugal force and the Euler force. The strength of the Coriolis force is given by this. The Earth's rotation rate is very slow, with only one rotation every 24 hours, compared to the one rotation every second of the water spiralling around your plug hole. Therefore, on the scale of everyday things, such as the plug hole, the magnitude of the apparent Coriolis force is too small to counteract any angular momentum imparted onto the water. This could be done by pulling the plug out in a particular direction or by filling the sink with a tap on one side of the plug hole. These will cause a current in the water and so it will swirl in a particular direction. Also, if the sink is not circular, the water will get pushed in a particular direction by the walls of the sink. But, if you've got a large, perfectly circular sink with a radius of at least a few metres and at least 10 metres deep, left the water to settle for around 24 hours after filling and then drains the water very slowly using a valve rather than pulling a plug, you would see the gentle swirl due to the Coriolis force. This is because you've removed other sources of angular momentum and have allowed the draining to happen over a long enough period of time. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Coriolis force causes the water to swirl in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, if you repeated this in the Southern Hemisphere, you would see the water swirl in the clockwise direction. To understand why the Coriolis force causes the water to rotate in opposite directions in the two hemispheres, we will look at one of the everyday phenomena where we see the force in action, the weather. Winds blow from high pressure systems to low pressure systems. However, due to the Coriolis force, the winds don't travel in a straight line. The Earth rotates faster as you move closer towards the equator and further from the poles. This is because the Earth gets wider as you move towards the equator and therefore a point on the surface has further to travel around in a day. So, let's go back to the example of throwing a ball north. We said that Alice could catch it as she was stood northeast. But why northeast? This is because you and Alice are both in the Northern Hemisphere. The Earth rotates faster at your latitude than at Alice's. 
Therefore, from the perspective of the Earth, when you throw the ball, it has a greater angular momentum to the right than the points on the Earth closest to the poles, like Alice. When you throw the ball, the angular momentum is conserved, and so the ball curves round to the right and lands at Alice. Similarly, in the southern hemisphere, if you threw the ball south, you would see the ball deflect to the left. Now, weather systems are just like the ball. In the northern hemisphere, wind from high pressure systems pass low pressure systems on the right. This causes the system to swirl anti clockwise. Hurricanes and storms are generated by low pressure systems, and so they swirl anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The Coriolis force causes the circulation of ocean currents. Fast moving objects such as airplanes and missiles are also influenced by the force. Therefore, pilots must take the Earth's rotation into account, and so most planes are not flown in straight lines. And so we reach the end. Now, next time you're staring into a draining sink, you'll know what is actually causing that gentle swirl. Thanks for joining us. If you have any thoughts on the video, feel free to leave them in the comments box. Plus, tell us if there's something about this wonderful world around us that you think, I want to know what's going on here. We would love to help. See you here next week. Same time, same place. Cheerio. Cheerio.